Meantime, we've many more stories waiting to be told in the grand setting of Lincoln Cathedral. Well, I have to admit that being in this wonderful cathedral today is something of a distraction because uh, the glass in those windows is just sort of jewel-like and uh, I'm finding it really difficult to concentrate. And, and you're making it even more difficult for me because you've brought in a, in a jewel in this glass vase. So the first question I want to ask you is, does it stand alone or does it have a partner? It has a partner. And where do you have it? At home, on okay. my window. <laughs> and your win Well, that's a good place. Yeah, yeah. It's a good place for this type of glass to be there. Yeah. Um, is it a family thing or...? Well, it's been in my family a lot of years. Um, it came from a great aunt. Um, my mum had it, but it was put away in a spare bedroom and it lived at the side of a chest of drawers for years. Oh, nice. uh, well, they both did. And I said I liked them and they went with my colour scheme. But years before that, Mum was going to actually probably have them drilled and made into table lamps. She was going to have them drilled and made... Yes. Bring your mother to me. <laughs> no, I haven't got her anymore, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> what no. a shame. I'd have given her detention if she was still with us, because uh, there are no prizes for saying where it came from, because uh, it's all there. Le Vert Francais, uh, France, and um, to be specific, we're talking about the Nancy region of France. And, Nancy itself was the great sort of centre of Art Nouveau design right. in France. Um, and the actual decoration um, is quite typical of a, of a period that would be about, probably around about, anywhere between sort of 19, uh, 1900 and, and 1920. Certainly by 1920, they become more geometric right. as, you, as you move into the Art Deco years. But let's, let's show it in all its glory. I mean, it's in competition with some fabulous medieval stained glass but if we we can get it up to that light um, even then it's you you need actually uh, a light inside it so you could if you wished you could if you wished have a fitting uh, that simply sits on the top with a light going down and ah. a light above it so if you wanted to do that right but the thing is you've got a pair haven't you yes mm. I think they might be expensive lamp bases if you were to do that. Um, I, I, I suppose when it comes to value, it's never come into no, the equation. No, 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 no. It's a last minute thing I brought it today, and actually. Last minute, and, it's yeah. an, and it's obviously an aesthetic thing as well, isn't it? Mm. Because it was the colours. Yes, it is. It's yeah. the colours. And I can identify with that. So if I wanted to, you know, to try and buy another pair of these, um, to a gallery, and I would not get any change out of £2,000 for a pair. Right. So, you know, Gosh. it just goes to show that at some stage in your life, colour appreciation has proved dividends. Because I've got to say that you've turned up today perfectly <laughs> coordinated with your vase. Yes, that's right. I know.